hi welcome back a warm welcome to you so in this video we will learn about circumcenter of the triangle so as part of the in AP intermediate or 11th or 12th 11th grade syllabus equation of straight lines we will be covering this particular topic so to understand simply circumcenter is nothing but perpendicular bisector of the sides of the triangle so if I have a triangle ABC with sides AB BC CA the perpendicular bisector of AB and perpendicular bisector of BC concurrent or intersect at point X the point X is known as circumcenter one interesting point is the circumcenter of acute triangle is inside the triangle the circumcenter of obtuse triangle is outside the triangle and the circumcenter of right angle triangle is on the midpoint of the hypotenuse so let's go ahead and take a simple example and try to find out the circumcenter of a triangle so here I have a triangle ABC where A is minus 1 comma 4 B equal to 2 comma 6 C equal to 1 comma 3 now we know from elementary whatever we have learned a perpendicular bisector is a line which divides the line segment into two equal halves not only that it is also perpendicular to the line at line for which this perpendicular bisector is drawn so suppose I take dx dx will divide AB into AD and DB two equal parts and also dx is also perpendicular to AB I think with this simple input we can go ahead and find out the perpendicular bisectors in this particular sum so our approach to resolve this problem will be to find the equation of perpendicular bisector first step find the equation of perpendicular bisectors dx and xe it can be any two of them you can take since the point of concurrency the third one all should go through the x so first we will find out this find the equation then we will solve for the solve for x so again to find the equation of perpendicular bisectors dx and xe our approach will be to find out the equation of dx i know the slope of ab i know the midpoint i can using midpoint theorem <coughs> i can calculate the midpoint i know the slope so i can calculate i can find the equation for dx similarly i know the slope of bc i can find out the midpoint of bc b and c that's nothing but e and i know the slope so i can use point slope form i can get two equations dx and xe the point of intersection of them will be x so let's go ahead and do it so, so let me say that this is for dx and this is for xe for solving dx what i should know is first i should know the coordinates of d d coordinates d coordinates are nothing but minus 1 plus 2 by 2 so i am taking it as 1 by 2 comma 4 plus 6 by 2 nothing but 5 so d coordinates are 1 by 2 comma 5 similarly e coordinates are 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 by 2 that's nothing but formula x1 plus x2 by 2 so i think you are very well converged with it so i am not repeating it again similarly 6 plus 3 by 2 that is nothing but 9 by 2 now we got the point we have to find out the slope so let us put the slope of ab here i will say a b slope what is slope of a b 6 minus 4 that is 2 by 2 plus 1 that is nothing but equal to 2 by 3 similarly what is slope of c b or b c equal to 3 6 minus 3 3 by 2 minus 1 1 that's nothing but slope equal to 3 so i know slope of d x slope of dx is equal to negative reciprocal of this so nothing but minus 3 by 2 c 
Similarly, slope of x e or I can say simply slope of x e is nothing but minus 1 by 3. Now let us try to simplify this and find out the equations. Very simple, right? So let me go ahead and do that. y minus of y1 nothing but 5 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into I can take any point. I want to take a point which will simplify my work. Okay, right? No, that's the only option I have, right? It has to go through the midpoint, right? So it will be y minus of 5 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into x minus of. Similarly, here y minus of 9 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 into x minus 3 by 2. So, let me simplify this. This becomes y minus 5 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into 2x minus 1 by 2. This becomes 2y minus 9 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 into 2x minus 3 by 2. I think you are with me. I can cancel this both the sides. Here simplify 4 into y minus 5 when I go for cross multiplication minus 3 into 2x minus 1. Here 3 into 2y minus 9 is equal to minus 1 into 2x minus 3. If I simplify this 4y minus 20 is equal to minus 6x plus 3. If I simplify this 6y minus 27 is equal to minus 2x plus 3. If I simplify this this becomes 2x plus 6y is equal to 30 and if I further simplify it it becomes x plus 3y equal to 15. If I simplify this, this becomes 6x plus 4y is equal to 23. 6x comes this side, 23. Now, if I solve these equations of dx and xe, I will be getting the circumcenter. So, let us go ahead and try to solve for these two equations. So, my equations are, first equation is this, second equation is this. Now, since I have x in simple, I will convert everything into y and find out y first. So, my approach will be to say 6x plus 4 into my y is nothing but equal to x minus, sorry, I, I want to keep it simple, right? So, let me go in the other way. Instead of x, I want to substitute it in y's. So, what I will say 6 into x is nothing but 15 minus 3y. Are you with me? Plus 4y is equal to 23. What I did is, instead of x, I have kept 15 minus 3y. This simplifies to 90 minus 18y plus 4y minus 23 equal to 0. That is minus 14y plus 67 equal to 0. That gives me y equal to 67 by 14. Now, I can go back and substitute for x. x is nothing but equal to 15 minus 3y. That is nothing but equal to 15 minus 3 into 67 by 14, which is nothing but equal to 210 minus 201 by 14 that is nothing but equal to 9 by 14. So, the circumcenter is nothing but 9 by 14. So, the coordinates of x are 9 by 14 comma 67 by 14. Now, to cross check this what I can do is I can find out f x which is nothing but another perpendicular bisector and substitute the values of x in that and see that that is satisfying. 
if that is satisfying then we are very sure that we did it correct so let's go ahead and do it what is slope of ac slope of ac is 4 minus 3 1 by 1 plus 1 2 that is 4 minus 3 1 by minus 1 minus that is minus 2 that's minus 1 by 2 let me repeat it 4 minus 3 y2 minus y1 that is 1 divided by x1 my x2 minus x1 that is minus 2 so this is minus 1 by 2 now I am doing here equation for fx fx slope is equal to 2 and fx midpoint fx midpoint sorry or basically what I want to say is midpoint of AC because fx has to divide AC into two parts and also should be perpendicular to AC we are making sure that F fx is perpendicular to AC by reciprocating the slope and making it negative of what it is and also finding out the midpoint and making sure that fx is passing through the midpoint so if this is 1 and minus 1 f becomes 0 comma 4 plus 3 7 7 by 2 now let us find out this equation this is nothing but equal to y minus 7 by 2 is equal to 2 into x minus 0 that is 2y minus 7 is equal to 2 into 2 into x minus 0 that's nothing but 2y minus 7 is equal to 4x this is x minus 0 or 4x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 this is the third perpendicular bisector now if I am able to substitute these values 9 by 14 67 by 14 in this whatever the third perpendicular bisector I got that is 4x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 let's go ahead and substitute it 4 into 9 by 14 minus 2 into 67 by 14 plus 7 this is nothing but equal to 36 by 14 minus 134 by 14 plus 7 I can convert 7 as 36 minus 134 plus 98 by 14 this nothing but equals to 0 so we are perfectly fine that is how you can find out a circumcenter of a triangle in the next video we will find out the orthocenter after that in the next video after the after that video we will prove that the centroid divides the orthocenter and circumcenter in 2 is to 1 ratio we will do that after the next video with the same example we will do the orthocenter then we will also find out the centroid and we will prove that the centroid divides the orthocenter and circumcenter in the ratio of 2 is to 1 thanks for watching bye for now I will catch you in the next video bye